what's up leo i just started deer reading and then i had to let the dog out and then a bunch of other things started happening so we're gonna just fast forward through it um i've shuffled your chakra insight cards and what you got was the gut instincts uh, solar plexus gut instincts uh chakra that you need to focus on and then also the uh third eye chakra to focus on as well and i'm getting that your solar plexus and the balancing of your solar plexus is going to connect you to your intuition that much more and also allow for your manifestations to come through so that was all that you guys kind of missed <laughs> so let's get into the soul lesson for this week uh we're gonna do it's a five card spread and it's gonna be the current soul lesson for what you need to work on learn love allow accept be do have <laughs> let's see what we got going on here What is the current soul lesson for Tor or Leo, please? Are you guys dealing with the Taurus? Mm. So Taurus just got this too. You might have Taurus in your chart or you might be dealing with the Taurus as well. And this is something you guys are struggling with together. So the reason there is a lack in abundance is because there is an abundance of lacking thoughts. So Leo, if you're focused on things that you don't have, things that you need, things that you need to do, places you need to go, but you can't because this, this, and this is in your way, um, that is actually only perpetuating more of that energy for you. So you have to be really careful about that. Uh, let's see what else we got going on. What's the awareness of this lesson for Leo? And, you know, we're conditioned to focus on things that we don't have or things that we need to fix. My hair is driving me insane, guys. Uh, things that we need to fix, right? But the thing about that is what we focus on, we get more of. So if you only focus on lack, you get more lack. There's an abundance in the lacking thoughts. That's why you get more of it. So do an abundance of gratitude and finding gratitude. Uh, grateful thoughts for where you are and what you already have so the awareness of this lesson they want you to recognize the power held within they want you to call on that power every day until that power is the default mode uh, also another one that came out was unconditional love for another begins when there is unconditional love for self so this may not be in regards to abundance but maybe more so a, a love from others and they want you to know that you have to go from your gut instincts. You need to start visualizing what it is that you want and to stand into your self-trust, okay? To recognize the power that you have within and then call on that power until that power is like literally the, where you run from every morning. What is a subconscious understanding for Leo, please? To define is to limit, okay? So whatever you are defining yourself as is actually limiting yourself or your relationship. When you put a title on something, you box it in rather than allowing it to be whatever it may be. Because here's the thing. We are always only going and gauging from our past perspectives. So if you only have negative things to draw on, and then you're defining how something may become or something how something is going to be you may have boxed yourself in from an experience that you haven't had the opportunity of having yet because you're so expectant of something terrible happening you see how defining can limit you so don't do that what is helping leo through this please Damn, they're throwing so many cards at me, you guys. One card, please. This is already too long. No. Piss me off. One card. Thank you. <laughs> what is helping you through this? Understanding that unexpected events are just loving messages from source. And things that are being shown to you as uh, that you don't like is actually showing you what it is you do want. So even though there's contrast, you're like, I hate this. Like... Be grateful because seeing things you don't want only better highlights what it is you do want. And one thing I've seen with so many people as I've been coaching them is so many people don't know what they want. They have all these ideas of who they should be. But when you clear out all those definitions 
those limiting beliefs of who they think they are, they don't know what they want because they don't think they could reach what they want. They honestly believe that where they're at is where they'll stay. And if you have that expectation of yourself, that's only as far as you'll ever go. All right, what will help resolve this lesson for Leo, please? They want you to deliberately create using focused intent. So again, that goes back to visualization. If you can't sit still long enough to meditate, start scripting every night. Scripting is the act of writing things out as if you've already gotten them in the voice of gratitude. And, it, and it's, it's an art to do it because so many people have a problem finding things to be grateful for that haven't arrived into their life yet because their mind is so crazy. They have no control over this. So when they go to write, I'm so happy that the new car I wanted is sitting in my garage. Their mind goes, no, it's not. And it fucks up their whole manifestation. You have to learn to hone that mind, Leo, so you can deliberately create using that focused intent to bring in everything that you want, okay? They want you to know that this is for your highest good and the universe is taking you there safely. What will help resolve this lesson for Leo, please? Radical acceptance to what is. All right. They want you to radically accept what is and where you are. And they want you to be, they want to remind you that what is believed within externally manifests. Meaning if you are over here expecting all these terrible things to happen again, you're going to bring it to you. I literally call that a timeline loop. If you go onto my uh, other YouTube channel, just realized I have the wrong logo up here. So we're just going to remove that really quick. If you go onto my other YouTube channel, it is, what channel right here? Run Gypsy Star Seed. Uh, Clarity Couture, I talk about timeline loops and how we get ourselves locked into those by the thoughts that we think, okay? So you can shift this. You can shift your entire life. All you have to change is your mind. But if your mind is running things and it tells you that you can't change it, oh, catch 22. So go check it out. All right, Leo, I wish you guys the best. I love you guys. Namaste.